In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through using Pixlr.com's Express tool to add type to an image, change the opacity so that you can see through it, and give it a little bit of an effect. This is the result we'll end up with, and keep watching to see the steps to do this. We're at Pixlr.com. We're going to choose Pixlr Express and we're going to browse and find our image that's going to be the base of this graphic. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna go ahead and start with some typography. You can see Pixel Express has some different options. So we're gonna go with sans serif. So we have a nice thick font and you're gonna click here to choose a font. We're gonna go with Bboss, but you can zip through up and down, use these up and down arrows to figure out a different font if you want one. And you're going to type your text in. I'm going to go ahead and center that. I'm going to click. You can click and twist it around. I don't really want it twisted around though. So I want to move that. And if I want to scale it, I'm just going to click on that circle, scale it out. And I forgot my exclamation point, so add that in. We've got our color here. So we have it picked as white. We've clicked here on our color picker. And then to change the opacity, we're going to use this little slider here. So you can see the opacity starting to change. And when you're happy with that, you wanna click apply. And you could leave it just like this if you're happy with that. Or you can add some other elements. So let's add an adjustment. We can go ahead and do a vibrance on it. Brighten it up a little like we did in Photoshop. Okay, we can add an effect if we want to. We want to give this a little bit of a vintage look. We have some options for us. You can take that out and down, just adjust the sliders here to give it a little bit different look. Say apply. And when you're happy with the way you have it looking, you can go ahead and hit save. Decide how big of a file you want. I'm going to go ahead and save it out at 100%. Hit save. And it's going to locate it wherever you were last. I'm going to save it out onto your computer.